Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, my name is Casey Kepley. You're tuning in to DraftingTutorials.com. In today's video, I'm going to cover the uh, trim command, and this is basically uh, a way that you can remove lines um, and you know get get everything uh, structured properly in your drawing by removing lines. So it kind of acts like an eraser. Uh, so just for getting started here, I've started a new drawing. Uh, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to turn off the grid mode. So if you ever want to turn off the grid, just go down here, click on that little blue button there. So for the sake of this drawing, I'm going to use a circle. Circles are really good for showing examples of, uh, you know, trimming when you've got intersecting lines or you want to remove a piece. So we got two circles here, right? Normally, when you use the trim command, you just type in trim there at the top and it'll ask you to select the objects. So you could select an object like that, hit enter. Then it's going to give you some options here um, for fence, crossing, project, edge, erase. Uh, normally fence is what you want to use, so you can select on that. And you can pull it across here on the unhighlighted item. So the item that's not highlighted, you just pull it over like that and you see how that changes colors from, from white to gray. Okay, that's that's one way that you can erase a line. I'm going to undo that real quick because I'm going to show you a quicker way to do this. So we'll back out. I like using it this way. Um, we'll throw another line in here just to just to give you an example of, of why I like using this so much. So if you type in trim or just TR hit enter, enter, enter. Nope, didn't do it. Just hit enter twice. So I'll do that one more time for you. Go up here, type in TR, and then enter, enter. And now you'll notice when I hover over, I don't, I, don't, I don't even have to use the uh, fence command or this fence option up here. I can just hover over it now and I can I can hover over, over other objects and I can delete those as well. So it's a much quicker way to use the, the trim command. Um, you know, if I want to, I can get rid of that. We'll just leave that right there. Um, but it's a much quicker way to use it. Uh, I find it really handy when I'm, I'm going into detailed drawings and I'm trying to, you know, remove items. And I don't want to use that fence command that I was showing you earlier because sometimes when you use that, you'll end up erasing something that you uh, were actually needing to save in your drawing. So it's just a way to, to erase lines and get rid of stuff that you want uh, without having to go back and redo the trim command every single time you want to remove a line. Uh, that's all I have for the trim command. Uh, you guys are tuning in to DraftingTutorials.com. If you like this, uh, share and like the video, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, other than that, I'll talk to you guys later.